Here's a Monday morning update on the uh, swollen Red Lake River at Crookston. This is the uh, Highway 2 bridge uh, going into downtown, where a bit of good news on this Monday morning. At uh, 4.30 a.m., uh, the river here had uh, ticked down a bit to 26.86 feet from its highest level of 27.02. Uh, that may be likely because of the uh, below freezing temperatures that slowed the runoff. And uh, we're told last night by Police Chief uh, Darren Selzler, the uh, uh, work uh, to uh, bring up the level of existing dikes was completed as far as sandbagging and moving in clay. Uh, the city protected to 31 feet. However, out here on the uh, east edge of town by the Polk County Museum and Humane Society, Highway 2 has been closed. So you can see uh, water running over the uh, highway here. There is a local detour, or if you're just going to be passing through Crooks, and you can simply uh, take the bypass to avoid this. Uh, dike walkers were out uh, early all, all night long uh, making sure uh, dikes stay safe in this area. Uh, neighborhood volunteer uh, Lynn Mullins uh, keeping track of the uh, walkers in her neighborhood. Okay. Uh, from here up to uh, uh, the bridge, okay. the Robert Street, uh, the uh, Highway right. 2 bridge, and then back along. All right. A little cold out for him this morning. Oh, yes, and a little icy. And here's another look at the uh, Riverside Avenue uh, neighborhood, the lowest part of that neighborhood. We showed you yesterday where a uh, dike failed. Uh, basically, it looks like a, a couple of homes and some outbuildings here uh, that uh, took on water. Uh, most of the uh, homes and or buildings in this area had uh, been removed from earlier flood mitigation efforts, but uh, a couple of uh, flooded homes here also in this area is a shop, I believe, that's still owned by the city where they had some things stored. Uh, but anyway, uh, a bit of good news, at least uh, f for the moment, early on this Monday morning, the Red Lake River here ticks down a notch. Uh, whether that holds or not, we'll see. We'll keep you updated. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.